Dear American and Moldovan educators, welcome to assignment number two included in our North Carolina Moldova Service Learning School Partnership Project. You will receive an email with all the necessary information related to our second assignment. You have two weeks starting today, November 13, till November 26, to work on three tasks included in this assignment. So, task number one. Please watch this wonderful video created by Cleveland State Community College. The video explains the basic of this concept of service learning. It shares a few insights uh, shared by Cleveland State Community College students and teachers. So you can borrow a few useful tips for your own project when you start thinking about how to bring service learning into your schools. After that, please explore two resources that we posted here on the blog. The first one is Benefits of Service Learning created by University of Minnesota. So we have a short list of benefits for students and faculty, as well as community partners. And the second resource is Why Service Learning created by Generation.org. Again, we have a short list of tips that are really useful when we explore the concept of service learning. So students gain, schools gain, and community gain from this project. After you watch the video and explore these two resources, please answer two questions. What is your own definition for service learning? How do you understand this concept? And two, what are the benefits of bringing service learning into your schools? Please feel free to give examples from your own experience. So please answer these two questions as a comment to this blog post. So you just click on comment and you place your answer on our blog so that your colleagues can read your answers. And then afterwards, we can have a group discussion about the benefits of service learning. Let's move on to task number two. Task number two, we are going to learn about six steps for successful service learning that will help us plan our own activities. There are many resources that you can find online that would describe the steps included in service learning. We are inviting you to explore the steps described by Project Learning Tree. So you have the steps described here. The six steps are as listed. Meaningful service, curriculum connections, student leadership, reflection, community involvement, and demonstrate and celebrate. So please explore this list and then Check our Global Youth Service Day video library. You are already familiar with this resource. So these are videos created by Moldovan students in the spring of 2016, when they all celebrated international, the international initiative launched by Service Youth America, Global Youth Service Day. So browse through this library, choose one video that you particularly like, and explain how these six steps for successful service learning were followed or were respected by the team that worked on that particular video. And again, post your reflection as a comment to this blog post. Please answer these five basic questions. What meaningful service Moldovan students engaged into? How did they take leadership? How did they engage in their communities? How is that they uh, celebrated their involvement? And last but not least, what did they learn from their experience? So this was task number two. And last but not least, task number three, please continue exploring the same video library with your students. Ask them to choose two videos that they liked and please invite them to post their comments, explain what they liked in the videos, explain what they found interesting or useful for, their, for themselves, and most importantly, how would they engage in similar activities in their communities when they have the opportunity to do it? So again, ask your students to browse through their library and post their comments here. The link is right on the blog. So teachers will post comments in the collaboration section and students will post their replies in the video introduction section that we will change later on. It will just be student to student interaction. So these are the three tasks that we're inviting you to work on in the next two weeks. Those of you who still need time to work on the first assignment, please take your time and uh, work on the three assignments included in assignment number one that was posted 
two weeks ago. We understand that we're just at the beginning of our project and it might take some time for some of you to get used to this online collaboration. We understand that many of you have never uh, posted comments on blogs or have never uh, worked with this concept of service learning. So these are things that are new to most of you, which means that we will give you enough time to learn as much as possible about this concept. And of course, we will give you enough time for you to um, learn how to use blogs and how to post comments and how to interact um, online with your colleagues and how, of course, to engage your students. I'm wishing you the best of luck in the next two weeks. We hope that you will enjoy working on our three tasks and you will learn a great deal about service learning and hopefully you will start getting ideas on how you could bring service learning into your curriculum. Have a wonderful November. We hope that the weather is going to be nice in um, North Carolina because in Moldova it's getting really, really cold because winter is approaching. And see you all online on our blog in the comments section.